have to tag 10. Uh, of the 10, we have tag 1. And I'm also spacing these out across time and also across sites in order to capture the variations in the population. These all may not be, you know, one population. This project is funded by uh, the Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. And uh, this is under their Environment Stewardship uh, Program. First such project to the Wildlife Institute, we are partnering with them. This project is about uh, basically assessing uh, the impact of power lines on large birds. It's not specifically to flamingos, it's just any large bird. So we are trying to assess which are those areas that are high risk to these flamingos. There's a lot of reports of flamingos colliding with power lines and dying. And if you look at this landscape, this is outside of any protected areas. And that's where these birds congregate. It's not restricted to any particular protected area. So there's a lot of power lines crisscrossing this landscape. So with these tracking units, we are basically trying to locate the movements of these birds. How they move from one place to other, how, how long did they use a certain uh, or a select wetland like here? Uh, which are the time, season, when they are using a certain area? Because that's important. These birds are migratory. Uh, so there may be specific measures that can be taken up when uh, in a particular area when the birds are moving. Uh, so with the tracking units, we are basically trying to understand their movements and also trying to understand how often they are in flight and at what heights are they flying. Because this would give us information on are they coming in line with these transmission lines? What is the probability or chances of them colliding with these power lines? Their field of vision is narrow. So when they take flight and when they are moving across from one place to another, very often these uh, power lines, if it is in their path, they are not able to see the wire, the earth wire which is at the top. And as a result, they often collide with these uh, power lines. A lesser flamingo captured and tagged in May 2019 at an inland wetland first moved to a coastal wetland in the Gulf of Kutch, where a large pre-breeding congregation of these flamingos was observed. Later, with the onset of the monsoon and with the vast flatlands of the Ran getting inundated, the lesser flamingo made its first move to its breeding site in middle of August. Following which, kept moving between the little run of Kutch and the great run and in the process kept crossing a number of power lines in the area. In December, on completion of breeding, the flamingo returned to the Gulf of Kutch and thereafter headed out to the coastal wetlands of the Gulf of Kambal, its post-breeding site. One of our greater flamingo tagged at a beach site close to the town of Manvi in May 2019, remained loyal to the site till the monsoon arrived. It then made its first move in middle of August to its breeding grounds in the greater run of Kutch. Few days later, the flamingo cut across the run to the east in the process flying across Pakistan, possibly exploring for breeding sites. It however returned the next day to its first location where it commenced breeding. On completion of breeding, in mid-November, the flamingo returned to the coast of the Gulf of Kutch, crisscrossing again a number of power lines. From there, it gradually made its way back to its beach site. Thereafter, it made a short flight across the Gulf waters that is likely its post-breeding site. It is hoped that with a more detailed understanding of the movements of these birds, the threats posed by power lines will become better known, and suitable mitigatory strategies can then be adopted.